That's what happens. You tell us whenever. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, today you've been shooting a video um, for what song? For Ray of Light. Tell me about the song to start with. Uh, <laughs> the song is like, it's just, it's like a, um, it's about kind of being in wonderment of the world around you and seeing the world for the first time, like looking at the world finally with your eyes open and seeing how big the universe is and, and seeing how small I am in the universe. Um, and also just kind of a celebration of, of life, too. Okay, is it, do you want to be a ray of light? Or? Yeah, well, ray, I mean, a ray of light to me is like hope. You know, so it's a song about looking at the world for the first time with a feeling of real hope and also joy and happiness. So it's really, it's a song about celebration. Okay, and, and what about the video? How has this Swedish uh. guy interpreted it? The video, well, <laughs> basically it's just been two days of me dancing like a maniac. Um, I mean, he's been shooting a lot of footage that I'm not in, but it's like stuff about the universe, really. But it's like the modern universe, like, you know, it's kind of very um, looking forward to where we're going and seeing how fast we're moving, and especially in, uh, technologically, you know, with, you know, computers and and airplanes and you know cars zooming down highways really fast I mean it's kind of like life in fast forward motion kind of zooming towards the end of the um, 20th century which is also what the song's about so for me the song is like a real visual interpretation of the song uh, but, yeah but when you spoke about it first it sounded like a positive feeling it is but, but you know I get well, sort of scared when you're talking about you know, zooming in and the speed of you know, yeah but it's but we are zooming forward but that is you know that is what's happening to civilization but that doesn't mean that you can kind of lose touch with the spiritual side of things and be grateful and notice the thing you know still notice the world around you it's like a juxtaposition it's very spiritual as both the lyrics and the music on this album mm -hmm. seems to be very spiritual. Is, mm -hmm. is that so? Yeah, that's true. It's my spiritual journey. <laughs> okay, I mean, when um, it's sort of Indian or African there's sounds a, in it. So, yeah, there's a lot of Moroccan and Indian, a uh, little bit of Asian influences, a lot of world music. How did you, why? How did you come up with that's it? the kind of music I listen to. I mean, I listen to music from all over the world. I love Indian music. And I've listened to a lot of North African music, and I wanted to incorporate that into the record. Mm -hmm. So, If we're talking about the video part, you've always been ahead of the music video world doing the mm. most interesting videos. When did you discover or get the notion that music videos are so important? I mean, you're the artist who made them. Well, I I think I'm a real visual artist because I was trained as a dancer and in theater and I'm also an actress so actually the medium of film is very important to me and when I do a video I can incorporate all of those things that I do well into one five minute condensed period of time. But did that, was that something that just happened or did you get the idea, hey, music videos? Because when you started... Well, I didn't think of music videos. I mean, someone came to me when I made a record and said, you're going to have to shoot a video. But I figured out that kind of like what videos are like poems. Like, you know, what poems are to stories, videos are to film. So it's a very kind of concentrated, intense um, expression the way a poem is and it's just a great way to express yourself in a song. Your music has evolved a lot, it's it matured just, you know, between since 94 up till now, but all, mm -hmm. I mean... Sin, well, I've matured. Well, but, but all through your career, do you think mm -hmm. that the music videos has evolved with your music? I think, um, yeah, I mean the kind of videos that are being made now versus the kind that you know I made in the early 80s are very different completely different and I think that post-production and you know special effects and stuff that people were using in movies people are now incorporating into videos and stuff like that and and uh, I mean 
I think videos have kept up with progress and the high-tech things that are happening in film videos are also incorporating. Are you putting as much work into the music videos as you put into the making, the, the um, making writing of the songs? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I poured my heart and soul into that record, you know, and, and uh, it took me very many months to make. I mean, a music video is a much more of collaboration with the director and what his ideas are. And Jonas has a very specific style of working, and that's why I used him for this song. Um, that, and, you know, each director has a different way that they look at the world and a different sensibility, which is why I choose them depending on what kind of song it is. I think he would have been all wrong for the Frozen video. I thought Chris Cunningham and his sensibility was really great for that. And Jonas is really good for this. But I'm, on this record, I'm really interested in using new, new directors, younger, newer, kind of just people who have a fresh look at things versus like the directors that I've been using for years on all my other videos. Mm -hmm. uh, back to the music. It's uh, more sort of taking on the techno, electronical dance music. Yeah. Um, why? Well, I started out making dance music. So for me, techno or um, electronica what is, is like a natural progression of the dance music that I began with in the, in the 80s. Mm -hmm. But do, do you like it? Yourself? I mean, do, do you go, I mean, do you dance to rave music, techno music yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I it, dance to everything. Anything with the beat, I can dance to. Okay, but, but still, is the dance floor, the dance clubs, are they as important to you? Absolutely. Yeah. Because that's where I started. And like I said, I was trained as a dancer, so I always look at life through the eyes of a dancer, so it's really important to me. But your life has changed quite a bit since, I mean, when you started out. I yeah, mean, but I still like to dance. <laughs> okay. do, you, do you go to clubs as much as you used to? Uh, it depends on what city I'm in. There's not a lot of great clubs in L.A. Sometimes in New York or London or Miami. Yeah, I go dancing. Okay, but well, the singing part, you were away from pop music world for three years almost, doing Evita. Mm -hmm. Did that change your voice a lot? Did you...? Well, to sing the music of Andrew Lloyd Webber, I had to study with a vocal coach because I didn't think I had the range to hit all the high notes. And So after studying for several months, um, I really strengthened my voice and learned how to sing in a way that I never did before. So I, it really influenced me with my songwriting on my own album, and I, I think it, uh, I think that um, my songwriting has changed a lot because of it. Why? Because you have a, a bigger range. Bigger range. Mm -hmm. Your yeah. voice. Um, do you have you kept on training your voice? Yeah. To, mm -hmm. So how how do you do that? Same, you know, those chord things. You, you want me to do a, like a a vocal like a warm up or yes, something? Yes, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's one. Oh, here's another one. So you actually do yeah, that? You have to sit there basically and look like an idiot for about a half an hour. <laughs> okay, so you do that, what, every day? Or? No, 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 no. Just, I just go in for tune-ups, you know what I mean? Like if I know I'm going to do a performance or if um, I go... She lives in New York, so whenever I'm in New York, I go and visit my, my voice teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, was it nice to be away from the pop world for those years? Did you long for it? No. I was very happy to have time off from being me. I didn't miss it at all. Mm -hmm. if, you, uh, you know, if you listen to the lyrics on the new album, it's very sort of you open up yourself and you... Um, still, do you, do you regret anything you did during your career? No. Choices. No. Would you do anything in another way? No. Mm -mm. Because everything I did led me up to this moment. So if I would have changed other things, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. uh, what other influences on your album, except for the dance music? And I mean, if you look um, at you at, as a person, you study Sanskrit and, and yeah, Sanskrit yoga has influenced me. Studying the Kabbalah was. This, which is a mystical interpretation of the new te of the Old Testament. Um, yeah, just all of those things. Being a mother um, have really influenced me and inspired me on this record. 
the, does being a mother, has that, has that changed your life's traveling and everything like that? Do you travel less? Oh, well, I, I try to. I set out to travel less, but then somehow I end up traveling so much. So, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. will they, it's, will it's, it's, it's much harder with a baby. So. Will you ever go on another world tour? I'd love to, but actually I'd like to wait till my daughter's just a little bit older then because she's still a really small baby and uh, you know between now and when she has to go to school I'll go on tour I swear <laughs> oh, okay so but she's still she's with you when you're working right always mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay but what about the artistic I mean you grew as an artist but also and as a um, business person would mm -hmm. you say that you're in total control of your creativity and artistic sides today that you can do whatever you want to without anyone telling you, you know? No. No, because, I mean, I, I can dream up dreams and I can do my best to execute my dreams, but everything I do is a collaboration with other people. I rely on the creative energy of a lot of people to do everything I do, from whether that's a photo shoot or a video or a film or a record. I mean, I rely on the musicians. I rely on the people that make my clothes. I rely on the people that do my hair and my makeup. I rely on the director that's standing behind the camera. I mean, so I never think that I can do whatever I want to do. I always think, this is my dream. Let me gather around the people I think are going to most support my dream, and let's see what happens. Okay, but, but still, I mean, aren't you more in control today than you were... <laughs> You know, 10 years, I, I mean, can it... I think I know more. I'm more sure about what I want and what's right for me, but I don't think I'm any more in control. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Is that a goal or is it not? To be in control? No, I mean, over uh, b because of the music industry being the music industry, there's always someone saying, no, that's not the first single, that's the second single and stuff like that. Well... Exactly, and uh, when I went to choose the first single for this record, I had lots of people influencing me. You know, my managers had their input, my friends, uh, rec people that worked at my record company. So, you know, sometimes I I get a, a feeling of something that I want, but then sometimes I make compromises and say, well, I go with somebody else's point of view. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, you made. Evita was greatly acclaimed, and this latest album must be the best so far. Everyone is raving about it. What about new goals and new um, new places to go with your artistic side and your personal side? Um, well, I'm gonna s probably make two more movies this year, and one of them I play a violin teacher, so I have to learn how to play violin, and I'm very excited about that. But I know it's going to be really hard. And then after that, I'm going to do a musical. And I'll do another record, because there's going to be a soundtrack to that. And uh, so that's what I, that's till the end of the year. Well, and that's just this year. Does, is it yeah, these are this year goals. Well, but, but more shopping, <laughs> more eating, more sleeping. <laughs> OK, but what, what about, I mean, is it? Is it as fun to do all these things as they used to be? Shopping, eating, and sleeping, love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was, I was thinking about... I still love everything I do. If I don't love it, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. but, but what about um, this Kabbalah? I actually, until I read in, a, in an interview with you that you were studying it, I never heard of it. What it's is, probably uh, not a lot of Kabbalah schools in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> But what about, do you spend lots of time looking into that side, you know, the, the more... Oh, I'm just exploring things. When I'm in Los Angeles, I go to class every week. Um, but it's just, it's like, I'm curious about um, the world and different philosophies and different ways of looking at life. So I'm just studying different things. Do, do you and it really is, inspires me. Do you believe in God? Absolutely. In what God? I mean, do you have a name on him or? God, light, hope, love, happiness, kindness. I mean, they're all God. Mm -hmm. I don't. I couldn't describe to you what God is. God is un indescribable. Because on one side, on the album is about death. Yes. Uh, t t tell me about dealing this. with death. Dealing with death. The, the idea of the like, the idea of letting go. Letting go of. Of the of 
fearing death and um, the idea of mortality, letting go of that. Okay. And accepting... Jonas, <laughs> you've been working me way too hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do I have to go to work? Yes. He's so mean to me. Uh, is, is everyone he? this mean in Sweden? Well, not really. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been okay. really mean to me as well. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. All right. Huh? Well, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Okay. Tack så jättemycket, är du? Tack väl. Huh? What are you guys saying to each other? You don't want to mean. He taught me a bad word, but I won't say don't it. Don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> no please, 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 don't please. What? 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 No, okay. can't say it. Oops, Thank don't you. remember it. I better not. Okay. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it.